Just last month, Harris Scarf was sold by its owner, Greenlit Brands, to a Sydney-based private equity firm named Allegro Funds for an undisclosed sum. Well, whatever the sum was, it was too much because Allegro quickly discovered it had bought a lemon and called in the receivers. Harris Scarf started in 1849 in Adelaide and gradually spread Australia-wide, taking on Meyer and David Jones. But this is the second time it's gone bust. The first was in 2001, and the new receivers are hoping once again to sell it as a going concern. But this time around, there's online shopping and worried non-spending consumers. So good luck with that. To reinforce the point, consumer confidence has fallen 1.9% in December to 95.1%. Anything below 100 indicates pessimism, and it's been below 100 ever since the Reserve Bank started cutting interest rates again this year. Meyer shares jumped 1.5%, possibly because of the exit of Harris Scarf. But don't forget, Meyer was relisted at $4.10 eight years ago, and is now 50 cents. So not out of the manure creek yet. The All Ordinaries went up 0.6%, with banks, CSL and Telstra leading the way. Wall Street slipped last night with everyone in a state of high anxiety about Sunday's China trade deal deadline. Most of the commodities went up less than half a percent, and the Australian dollar is down very slightly at 68.2 US cents. And finally, the analysts at fund manager Fidelity have had some fun creating the Christmas dinner index based on the prices of turkeys, ham, seafood, veggies, cake and booze. It's up 2.2 percent this year, which is quite a bit more than inflation, but we're all too frazzled to notice. And that's finance. Thanks for watching. You can check out more finance news by clicking there. And don't forget to click subscribe down there to get all the latest updates from ABC News.